welcome to bitfumes and this is paper payment integration and we have done lots of things we have done fully client integration we have done client integration plus server integration but this is the time to do the fully server integration this means we are not going to use any checkout js we are not going to use any javascript all in all php so how we are going to proceed so you can see we have this button which we are not going to actually use why because we are doing everything on the server end so what i will do i will go on welcome.blade.php and delete everything instead i will create a markup of html then simply a container just for uh, margins and then create a form form for post request and let's create a route and route name is create payment so you know uh, let me explain you once more if you have forgotten uh, the payment integration is uh, divided into two steps one is creating the payment and then executing the payment so creating the payment we have done till now with the client integration but this is the time we are doing even the create payment on server integration so server integration includes two step set up the payment that i call it creating the payment and executing the payment so executing payment is done already and setting up the payment for that we have created create payment route okay so inside because we are on laravel so csrf token then input of submit so let's use this and call it pay now just this input for demo purpose and we need to create this route actually so go to web.php file create a post route and that has to be post and this is create payment and it's done simple <laughs> then payment controller at create and we need to give name and name is create payment simple so how it's going to look on the mozilla firefox yeah simple page and now we need to go on payment controller so that we can create a function which we call create uh, is that create payment yeah simple create yeah that's okay so simple create and here let's try to return uh, return hello for now so that we can verify this is working properly pay now hello it's working fine that's good so how we can start with creating a payment let's go to chrome go to developer.payment.com we need to go to checkout we know this is for the php so we need the sdk for the php so api rest apis at the bottom i think you have learned this thing you have memorized these things so sdk and php that's actually my task to make you memorize all these things so this is the docs and now we need to go to a php sample code go to the php sample code and we have used till now the second part execution but now we are going to use the first that means the setting up the payment okay so let's copy one by one first is pair grab it and paste it and let's import it here like this so we are going to use the paypal method then comes the items so let's copy here and paste it uh, indentation sum okay so let's import item here it is imported list like this okay next is details so the details come here like this import this one also great and final amount so final amount is having all these things so i think amount is already included but why not again include it so see this we have one quantity of coffee which is 7.5 dollar then we have a bars for five quantity and prices two so five to the 10 from here 
7.5 from here, sum total of these two items will be 17.5. Then we are using these two items inside an array so that we can pass this list, item list. And then in the detail part, we are saying that, okay, subtotal is this, but the tax is 1.3 or shipping address, uh, shipping cost is 1.2. Overall, 17.5, 1.3 plus 1.2 makes uh, 2.5, I think. Yeah, and that comes sum up to $20. So now you can see it is totally, totally secured. No one can touch it. And we have lots of details here. Great. So let's move on. Then we need to create the transactions. And yeah, we have the transaction. Import it once more. Indent it. And in the transaction, we are setting the amount. We are giving the item list and some description. And for invoice number, just a unique ID. And remember one thing, when we have used the uh, client integration, we have uh, given this transaction and inside the transaction, remember, we have given the amount and the currency. So next is we need to give the redirect URLs again, the same URLs we have also given on the client integration if you are following me from the start redirect urls included we don't want any base url because what we are going to use is full http uh, localhost colon 8000 slash and this is execute payment and because we don't have a cancel url but we can give that it's not a matter of time so oops what happened like this and let's call it cancel we don't have it but it's okay for now then finally we need to create a payment so creating the payment that means uh, creating the payment class properly oops i think i have imported it yeah api payment is already imported and indent is sale we are selling we are setting the pair which we have defined at the starting then redirect urls which is defined here transaction which is very important thing defined here last thing is we need to give payment and then we need to create it so the important part comes here and it says payment create api context we need api context so let's copy this from execute so let's paste it at the top or what we can do we can create a constructor and move this inside there and then we can use it on any function we can use it uh, we can do that but for now it's okay then what we need to do we need to give this approve url then after we get some approve url so what i'm going to do i'm going to return this approved url so I think every, everything is done. Let's now try to run this. So go to Firefox, refresh this page, click on the pay now. It's doing something, doing something. So wait for that. And now we have this uh, URL, which is approve URL. So payment is created. Now comes the executing the payment. So first thing is done, but by doing this, we are authorizing the user and after authorizing, we will going to execute the payment. So this is just going to authorize it and yeah, it is there. So instead of doing like this, what I'm going to do, let's go back and here I will say return redirect to this URL. And this means it is automatically get redirected to the URL for authorization of the, of the buyer. So it's doing something again and waiting for sandbox paper. And you can see simply it redirected and started for asking for the login of the user. So I already logged in and $20 USD for here and in the account we have a 95.56 dollar let me refresh to verify it so that i can explain you yeah 95.56 on the firefox let's click continue and 
after continue it will go on the execute part and we know that is working absolutely fine and after that it will give the result which is saying that state is approved and now if i go refresh the page and you can see simply everything is working absolutely fine and 114.48 dollar that means payment is successful no javascript nothing else just our level our php and all the server side integration so this is how you can have your uh, local host let's just let me do that so this is how you have the payment system on a paper again i'm saying that this takes lots of effort to create these kind of uh, tutorials so if you want to support bitfumes just go and follow on facebook twitter and instagram subscribe to this channel and share with your friends we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye